Hello and welcome to the Bellhops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. And I'd also like to welcome my wife, Deanna, otherwise known as Enchi Games Online. On the Bellhops Tabletop tonight, we are going to be tackling some Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. This is going to be a live play of scenario number five the last of the five intro scenarios where the game is slowly onboarding us to learn how to play Gloomhaven. Now this is our fifth video, so if you've seen the other videos, you already know this, but Deanna and I are experienced Gloomhaven players, but this is our first experience with Jaws of the Lion. This is our first time attempting this scenario. We haven't looked ahead to see anything, except I did check the reward because there was some confusion last week. We fixed that. Um, at the start of this, though, we are going to have to step back one second. There is an errata in the rule book, in the scenario book, or not the, the scenario book, the learn to play book, where it forgets to remind you to do a city event at the end of scenario four. And it does know at the end of scenario three, you do them after every scenario, but it just doesn't remind you. And sure enough, we forgot. So we are going to do a city event that's technically should have been part of the last video, but it wasn't because we weren't. So we are about to do scenario five. Um, on our map here, we are now, can you point to it? It's kind of on that side. I can't find it now. Where'd it's it right over there. Ooh, there. Right we are there. headed right there. And this is the, the final scenario in the tutorial. And after this, I don't know, the whole campaign opens up or something. I don't know. We're going to finish off with the, let, the, the how to play book. While playing, I'm not going to teach the rules except that if anything new comes up. So anything new I will introduce, but anything that we covered in videos one through four, scenarios one through four, I'm not going to cover again. So I'm not going to talk about how to determine focus or line of sight or how to move. You should watch our previous videos until we for mess those. it up. Oh, yeah, until we mess it up. If we miss something up, we will. Um, other than that, I think we are good to go. What we'll do next is we're going to grab our character boxes and open those up. Because we haven't even gotten anything set up yet ahead of time here. So, so I am playing the, the wand here. Which is the human void warden. Who I have named... Telemathis. I am level one at this point. We just started accruing experience points. I have 26 experience points, eight gold. I have earned one P perk, uh, which I took to add a curse card to my deck. You like actually earned a little check mark too. Yes, I game. earned a check mark last game. Too. Yeah. Uh, we have a little summary sheet, which I'm just going to toss I up. I am so. playing Valroth. The Red Guard, which I've named Krimdar, also level 1, with 23 XP and 12 gold. I somehow have less XP than you. That's because I use my powers to give XP. I and I have one perk, because we all have, we're we granted got one, one perk, perk by yes. the game. Yeah. But I don't have any little check marks for completing jobs, because I haven't. Like, so the one thing that was done at the end of the last thing is the X cards which there are three of for me, were added to our deck. So we're going to have to decide which cards to take. So we now finally have more cards than the number on the top of our characters are allowed to bring for a scenario. So of all of my cards, I'm only allowed to bring 11. So I'm going to have to look through my deck and do that. But first, we get to see the full scenario, the goals and everything about the scenario before we decide. So I'm just going to put my deck aside for now. And how many do you get to bring? 11. Oh, sorry, 10. Yeah, you, you only get to bring 10 cards. I was feeling this full. The other thing we'll have to decide is which items to bring because as rewards for our last adventure, we did receive mana potions. We each have one of those. I've also purchased a stamina potion and I have a fateful compass and I'm only allowed to bring one of those. But again, I'm gonna wait until I see what the scenario is before I decide which of those I want. If there's traps on the board, I'm probably gonna be taking my fateful compass because it lets me move the enemies. I also have a set of studded leather armor that I purchased to try to keep myself alive. Then I am going to grab the Learn to Play guide and see what we get. So I think the first thing we're going to have to do is double check Scenario 4 complete and do the City event because we did miss that. Yes, City events were added at the end of Scenario 3, but when it says Scenario 4 complete, none, nowhere does it remind you. So it's not, not that the, there's an errata, it's just based on the fact it walks you through everything else and reminds you of everything else, it's odd that it doesn't remind you. So the other thing that's important to know, if you're a fan of Gloomhaven, is that city events in Jaws of the Lion are not optional. So that is a, a change from the original. City event, and again, technically this should have been in last week's video. 
You're walking along the river towards the barracks when a lurker, six feet tall with terrifying snapping claws, bursts out of the water on the opposite bank. The citizenry flee for cover in a mad panic. I remember lurkers from the other game. Suddenly a battle cry rings out and you see a streak of shimmering purple drop from a nearby building, tucking and rolling to an elegant stop a few feet from the trouble. A Volrath woman with flowing hair stands, a shroud coming in her face. She shouts, clapping a strange wooden instrument at the beast. The lurker pauses its assault and turns to the woman. Is this horrible monster confused? Attack the lurker while it's distracted. This may be the only chance to kill it. Or pull back the onlookers and allow the woman space. I say we give her, give space. her space. It looks like she's yeah. like got it under control or it's her pet or something. We're going to go with option B. You hold the frightened crowd at bay and watch as the woman circles the lurker, clapping her instruments in a hypnotic rhythm. Spoiler alert, obviously, if you see this card, you're going to know the result of what happens here. So plug your ears if you don't want to hear this. You almost fall into a trance yourself as you watch her work, the monster's eyes following her dance. Slowly, the pair approaches the water, and with one last tss, the lurker recedes. The whole crowd breathes a sigh of relief, and the interloper nods her thanks before she turns and fades into the crowd. Gain ten experience each. Ooh. That was a good one. That is a significant is. XP bonus. So another difference between this and Gloomhaven is I am not going to tear this card up because cards no longer have a destroyed symbol on the bottom. Instead, there's a spot in the box to tuck your used events. What's cool about that, I should be talking towards the mic, is that it makes the game replayable. Once we're done playing Jaws of the Lion, I could then replay using different characters or I could pass my copy of the game off to friends or family or I could sell it. You tell the, the truth though, you're sad. I like ripping up stuff. I like the permanence. I like the fact that that card would be done and I'd never see it again. I admit it. All right, other things we're going to need out of the box. We're going to grab the monster deck because we're going to need that. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm just trying to figure out where the curses go here. Curses and blesses. Curse and bless. We don't need the item deck. But we could technically go shopping, but neither of us have money. No, I was really hoping maybe that that would have been 10 gold instead of 10 XP. All right, so there. We have now caught up. So we have completed scenario four. Let's just double check to make sure we did all of this. Make sure you play through the end of the round. Get your ward. Make, grab your X cards. So we've done that. So scenario five rules. We're going to start by putting out the scenario book and then set up the scenario, including the supplemental scenario book. So we're going to move the map around. We're going to move the cameras around. We'll be right back with you. All right, so begin by turning to scenario five in the scenario book, and then set up the scenario, including the supplemental scenario book. Oh boy, did we ever. The main new feature in this scenario is that you will be fighting a boss at the end. First, however, let's deal with the two separate trap types in the scenario. The first type is a normal trap, and should have three damage tokens put on them. The second type, indicated by the key, apply conditions instead of damage, and should have condition tokens pointed on them. Oddly, there's no blue helper to tell you that. Along with the listed monsters, retrieve the boss monster ability deck. So if I do this, it's going to be We did that. Things. We have it. Boss monster ability deck. Creepy. Do not set the boss yet, though, because he's in the final room. Spoilers. <laughs> also note that opening the last door will trigger reading the first section break, which will provide more information. Boss mechanics. All bosses use a... Generic boss action deck. Woohoo. Consisting of cards that say special one. See, this is a little dull. Special one and special two. Yeah, I can't hold it down there. I'm like, can we get the light down there? So that's where we were better with the other lights. The other lights definitely highlighted the cards. It won't focus, though. It's still not focusing. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's a card I shouldn't the stop reading. So you know. Oh, great. We'll just pause. <laughs> I'll reread read that section, I guess. That's not a single one on anymore. I 
still don't see how that's better than what we had. I have no idea. You might want to move the cord before you sit down. That's the problem. The cord's so heavy, it pulls the whole thing over. It's the cords that have the weight. Yeah. No, the stands for these lights are terrible, and they're not strong enough to hold up the weight of the cord because the cord has a button on it and it pulls the whole lights over. As we pause for more technical issues. I was trying to mute his chair because it makes terrible squeaky noises. Shrieking noises, I suppose I should say. More coffee on the hue light. That's even better. All right. Actually, spill coffee? I don't know. I bumped the thing. There's gloomy having cards and shit over here this time. No, it doesn't look like it. <sighs> Alright, I don't even know what I was doing. There was a card on the floor. You were reading. Something else happened before that that broke it up. Oh, yeah, it's not auto focusing. Oh, yeah. See, I need to know. This is making it any better. I can't tell. It didn't seem to make any difference. I don't know. And I don't know what we'll do at the end. We'll take the lights down to film me and you. I guess. Or we'll reset them up the way I had them earlier. So we had a question from the chat, if the boss deck is the same as in Gloomhaven. I'm going to guess no. None of the other ones are. Like the Vermling deck is not the same as the other Vermling deck. I'm going to guess the boss deck probably isn't the same as the boss deck. Because I don't think this card is in any of the Gloomhaven decks. The nothing special, I did nothing, I moved and did a basic attack, I don't think is in all of them. Maybe. It's been a while since we played Gloomhaven. Yeah, I'd have to take Gloomhaven <laughs> down and look. Alright, so I'm going to reread that section where we cut. I apologize for editing this week. Alright, so begin by turning Scenario 5 in the Scenario Book, set up the scenario, including the supplemental page. We've done all that. The main new feature here is there's a boss at the end, but we're going to deal with there's two different trap types this time. So there are damage traps like we've seen before, and we've marked those with damage tokens. But there are also status effect traps which cause poison and muddle. And what we've done is put the symbols on there to remind us that those do poison and muddle as well. Which we probably could have spread them out so they both could show, but it works. The other thing is we're going to have a boss. Now we don't have to worry about it, but we do need the blood tumor stat card, which we've got here, the blood tumor stat card. And we have the boss deck. The boss deck is mostly special one and special two. When that happens, we reference the boss card to see what he does. So special one, he's going to heal himself or he's going to heal all allies. Or his two special. So this blood giant gross blood clot thing is going to be doing lots of healing. Nope, this boss has a hyphen for movement value. This means it cannot move, even if it has a move ability, but it is affected by push and pull. And so, now you are prepared to face your first boss. Remember to deal out battle goals and set up the elements board. 
This scenario, the final one covered in this book, is more challenging than the previous, which will be interesting because 4 was hard. Goal is, however, to kill the boss, not all the monsters. At the end of the round, when the boss is killed, if at least one character is not exhausted, the scenario will be complete. If you do happen to fail, go back to page 16 of the rules on that. Good luck. So the other thing we have not done is dealt out battle goals. Which I am going to grab from the box right now. And shuffle them up. And there's two for you and two for me. I still have to pick which cards I'm going to want, but here are my options. I think I am going to take the one on the left. No, the one on the right. Sorry, the one on the right. Cool. I don't want to do either of these. Definitely not the one on the left. That's not a goal. Try to hold them a little closer. You shouldn't be able to read these, man. I'm not trying to read them. I'm just trying to see if they're clear. Which should be, but it's not. Why? I can't. Try this focus. Oh, well. Well, they showed up for a second. This seems like a bad idea. I'm not doing the one on the left. Okay. I, on the other hand, are probably going to go with this, this one here. No, the other one. And I hate you, camera. There we go. We're in focus. We're going for this. This one goes back in the box. See, I so much like that was the only thing I liked better about the cards. The the um, the lights being down low was when we held up our cards, they really showed up. Whereas they are not showing up as great now. All right, I gotta decide what cards I want in my deck. If you wanna, do you, have you decided? Oh no, no I've, I've got to get rid of one more. Okay, I was gonna say read them off what you've taken. Hmm. No, don't care. Well, I'm getting rid of Desert Knight, which is my big move six. I'm getting rid of the one that allows me to heal myself for. I may regret that. And I'm not taking this new no. pre precision strike card, which is a burn ability, so... Yeah, I mean, it does let you move and pull, guys, but I think I got better stuff going on. So, that means of my new X abilities, I'm taking the lovely Blade Dance that I showed you guys earlier, because that one is awesome. And I'm also going to try out Warrior of the Sun, because I have that card where, um, I can put it up and it stays permanently and it will do damage to the enemies for my shield abilities. So, my shield value. So I think shield stuff is a good thing to have. And I want lots of pull cards because there's lots of traps. That's my thoughts. Oh, there are lots of traps. Huh. Yeah, I'm the one that had to put all the, the uh, tokens out on there. And like, quite a few traps. That is a lot of traps. Okay, I am taking this new card of Resigned Frenzy. Come on, camera. Okay, my, my webcam is making me really angry tonight. It was doing zooming in on the cards fine last time we played. It doesn't like and the reading, I guess. Signs of the Void is what I am getting rid of, which is this one here. Signs of the Void. 
Which it refuses to focus on. So my deck is Resigned Frenzy, Grasp of Doom. I'm going to go through these quickly. Master Influence, Gift of the Void, Suggestion, Freeze the Soul, Lure of the Void, Wicked Scratch, Close, Close to the Abyss, Black Boon, and Turn Out the Lights. Do you want to read off yours or not? Oh, well, sure. I have Blade Dance. Shield of the Desert. Twirling Stabs. Swift Strength. Shield Spikes. Flaming Sickle. Flame Shroud. Warrior of the Sun, Blinding Sickle, and Shocking Advance. Alright. Is there any way you can infuse dark? No. I actually got rid of the card that let me infuse dark. Oh, come on. That's the one I did. <laughs> That's what I use every round. Do you want me to put it back in? No, we it's haven't fine. started yet. Just I'll do it myself. So what I need to figure out is what I can do. You're not going to infuse fire magically now, are you? No. I know you're not going to do light, but I figured I could try for fire. Okay. I've got one or the other, but not both. Hmm. There's That's it. Are you moving in? What, uh, what's the movement on these Chaos Demons? Three. Okay, then. Are you moving in? I don't know. This? I haven't decided. I might pull them to us. I haven't decided. I need to figure that out. Are you going to end up adjacent to one? I got all these pulls, but they only pull one. <clears throat> I thought I remembered having a pull two, but that's the danger of It's probably one of the decks switching. that changed. Changing, yeah. Is it exactly that? Pool one is not going to cut it. So, since I can't actually do the thing I want to do, I think. It's a burn card. Oh, I hate everything. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I absolutely need to go to pull them too. That way. Oh, we didn't even read the introduction or anything. You should probably do that. Terrible. Alright. 
Oh, when I do this now, I am getting tons of shadows. You identify the most horrid smelling of the corridors leading off from the abattoir basement. You continue your search for answers about what is happening to these corpses and why. Why? And why, sorry. Lighting, lighting torches, you descend into the dark recesses. Moments later, you hear the scuffling of feet and hiss whispers coming from in front of you. The ritual has been interrupted. We will finish it at the nexus, but... There's a brief pause, and then cursing. They approach! Quickly! Stall them while we complete the preparations! The echoes of footfall start to recede before another voice emerges from the darkness. But how? I cannot hold them off myself! Open a rift! The first voice yells, now much further away. They must be stopped! You begin to rush forward. Clearly, these maniacs don't want you to smash your way through, so that's exactly what you're going to do. That is, until multiple red lights appear in front of you, violently ripping open the fabric of reality into some other plane. The circle of rifts illuminate the face of the zealot in their center, full of panic and fear. From the rifts emerge creatures of pure chaos. Their movements nightmarish flurry of claws, wings, and tendrils. One of them grabs the screaming summoner and forces him into the gaping maw of the demon's chest. There's a wet crunch, and the man's head disappears. Creatures then turn to their attention to you. They fan out, eyeing you maliciously while one finishes its meal. And that is it until we read further. Oh, like you said, a lot darker than the original Gloomhaven. Yes, much darker than the Gloomhaven so far. Much, much more, um, less kid-friendly. Not that the original was like super happy fun mm -hmm. game. Oh, you can see my items over here. Let's put those over here instead. Oh, yes, I mean, I'm going to take the Faithful Compass. Do you decide what you're doing yet? Did you? Yeah, a long time ago, but I might change it if you're not going to end up adjacent to an enemy. That's why I need to know. Alright, if you want me adjacent to an enemy, at least it gives me something to do. I will walk up to an enemy. Are you going fairly fast? I am going fairly fast. Okay. I am all set. So I am going at 68. I'm going at 14. And the chaos thing is going at 67. What's it doing? Just before me. It's a burst attack. But only if there's green infused. So it is moving one, attacking at plus one, and pushing two. These have 8 health and muddle on a hit. Oh, okay. This is going to be great. Yes. Wet crunch is definitely not kid friendly. Though better than moist crunch. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm not doing much. I'm going to use shocking advance and I'm going to move 3. 1, 2, 3. Yep. And now I'm adjacent to the guy. Um, light will be infused. Oh, uh, so you have to do this now. Yeah. I like it better on the other side. Exactly, you would. I should have um, put it up at that corner. Shield spikes. So that's going to come on, and now every time an adjacent enemy attacks me, that enemy will suffer damage equal to my shield value, and that stays for the rest of the game. And that gets me to well, If you had said that, I could have gave you a shield. If I had known that. So you're not actually attacking him? No. Interesting. So we are going to start off with Master Influence, which I am using for the bottom, which I will bless range two. I will bless you. I'm assuming you're going to make me attack him. Yes. And I will poison range two. I will poison the nasty bad guy. If you can put a poison token yeah. on Bunch number two. Already out. Let's see. There you go. And I infuse ice. And we will follow that up with the Wicked Scratch, which will cause one ally within range 2 to perform an attack 3 and infuses dark. And I gain an experience point. Plus 2.
What is my health? I forgot. I am so feebly weak. So we did what? I need you have the damage. Oh, sorry. Uh, we did three. Because you said it was an attack. Four. Three. It's poison. Oh, yeah. I like Four. That Four damage, halfway there. If only you'd attacked. Except it wasn't even my turn to go. We're cheating already. Oh wow. You didn't even do the initiative. Let's back nope. all that up. Nope. Okay. Take that bless out. We gotta redo everything. I get to go I did get to go first and I'm fourteen. Terrible. Wow. Terrible start. Reset. Reset. Okay. Reset. Reset. So, you didn't see. put the initiative in order. I looked over there and I saw. Yeah, okay. And then, where are you? What number are you? 68. So you're after them. Yep. Just after them. So Terrible. go next. Wow, we are fired. Yep. Re reshuffle your deck. Like, we'll just start it over. That was terrible. Reshuffle my deck. Uh, I have a blessing here that yeah, I Yeah, just have. keep it off to the side for now. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right. We're professionals here. All right, so it moves minus two which there's nowhere for it to move, and then it's going to attack at plus one. You're not even going to be next to it. This is, we planned terribly. We can't do any of this. That's not an attack deck. Why am I not going to be next to it? Because it pushes, and I said it pushes. So your whole, I'm going to move up next to it, didn't even matter. Minus one, it hits you for three. Okay. But it was terrible planning. We, we, yeah. Our, this first round was absolutely the worst it could possibly be. Yep. All right. Even um, though I told you what was going to happen. I will use my shield. It takes one damage. Terrible. Uh, okay, so take one less. And you are muddled. And I am muddled. And you are pushed too. I'm assuming you want to be pushed there. Yeah, I like that. All right. Now I have. This is completely pointless. Hmm. Wow, I burn cards and get no XP. This was terrible. Horrible first round. This is not how you play Jaws of the Lion Scenario 5 well. This is how you lose and have to do it twice. So I bless and poison using Master Influence. Well, I'm tempted to just use Master Influence to put Master so I, Influence up. I still get plus? Yeah, and okay. he ends up poisoned. And this card I do nothing with. Yay. Hmm, I'm not sure what poison shit ended up. You put it over there by the laptop. Terrible starting round. And we didn't even move the other bad guy. Well, he would, yeah, he would go next before you. So he just moves one. Alright, then I will use... He already is poison, though. So muddling him and poisoning him again isn't too useful. Do you want me to muddle poison him? Oh, know what I can do. Here, instead. Let's do this instead. I'll, I'll change this up. Let's Let's... So I don't waste our turn completely. I bless and curse. And then we're going to use this early. We're going to use the fateful compass. We're going to take him and we're going to walk him into this trap. So now he's muddled and double poisoned. Maybe but double poison double doesn't poisoned. matter. This no goes away. Beast. Then I will use wicked scratch on you. Excellent. And now you get to attack him. With a plus one. That's way better. Plus he's poisoned. So, so that's three, five. Four, five. Now you still left the damage on him, it looks like. No. Then why does he have damage? Because you have an ability that damaged him. Oh that's right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> three, four, five. Okay. There you go. And I missed the Gloomhaven helper out. There. That's a much more effective use of my turn. Which also infuses that and gives me that one XP. Much better. That's that's the way it's done. I'm sorry, I should be turning him so you can see him. And he's almost dead. He only needs two more damage. If you want to move on to the next one, I don't know how far you can move. Let me see. Let me answer that question. How far can I move? I can probably finish him off. Okay. And reach to attack. 
Yes, both characters are still level one. Um, by scenario five, you still haven't leveled up in Jaws of the Lion. You will see <laughs> at the end. The end of uh, scenario five, once you finish it, teaches you the rules for leveling up. But this, they haven't even explained the rules for leveling up at this point. We are level one playing at scenario difficulty level one. You don't have to, I'm just, I should be able to finish them. Uh, yes, the first three scenarios we played in one night and finished in, what, two hours? Yeah, it was And great. that included, like, set up and trying to, not as much fiddling with lights as tonight. Heck no. Scenario four did take about 45 minutes to an hour. But again, you could probably play all five. This one's supposed to be longer. Scenario four was a significant step up. Scenarios one, two, and three, we finished in one night easily. Mm-hmm. We ready? Yep. I am at 26. I'm at 6. And they are at 1. Okay. What are they doing at 1? They are heat blasting us. I do not appreciate that. So he will, let's make sure we have them in order. Number 1 will go first. It's going to move 1. It attacks at range 3. Sorry, move plus 1. So it's going to get to 1, 2, or here. Where would you prefer? Do you have a preference? Do I have a preference? Let's, I did not expect him to go before me when I'm going at six. Uh, I don't think I have a they preference. They are nasty looking. Okay, they I don't I don't know if uh, we'll get a focus in on here. Come on, camera, please. No? Why won't you focus tonight? Stilly webcam. Webcam. They're creepy. It refuses to focus. We have more light down here now, so it's like, must focus down here. Well, maybe that seems to just... Uh... Yes, agreed. Um, if you go to tabletopbellhop.com, you can see my review of the original game and the differences. But yeah, this is a thousand percent, like way better on boarding. The first scenario... You face off against some Vermlings, and to make it really simple, you don't even use one of these decks. There's no deck. The Vermlings act on initiative 50. They move one, attack two, and that's it. So you don't have to worry about ranged attacks. There's no push. There's no pull. Um, you start with a simplified deck of only six cards that are simplified. Those six cards have blue text on them that fully explain how the card works. Like, uh, the onboarding is amazing. It really is amazing. Now, we are experienced Gloomhaven players. The problem we had is we wanted to use rules that weren't introduced yet. Like, in Scenario 1, it doesn't let you use the basic moves over here. And I think the end of the day, in one of them. Move. I think in Scenario 2. Yeah. Plus, um, like, you don't have long rests yet. And they don't introduce uh, even a short rest until the third turn of Scenario 1. I didn't just pick up my cards today that I was going to use. Oh, no, they're right here. They're right here. I'm good. Well, what's happening? Yeah, no, I don't care where you So he's to. moving there? Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it doesn't honest. matter to me. It's fine. Okay. Then he is going to ranged attack you. Mm -hmm. It's attack minus one, so it's only a two. I keep wanting to flip that. It missed. Excellent. And fire is infused, it looks like? Nope. If fire was infused, oh. it would have wounded you. Oh, terrible. I was hoping he was making fire. Nope. Now this one is going to back off, and again we get to pick where. Do we want here, here, or here? That's you, he's your job, so you tell me. It doesn't actually matter. I'm gonna say not here probably because you probably want to get to this guy. Or is there a reason you'd want them adjacent to each other? Because I know you no have. Reason I, would want I know you have things that hurt all adjacent enemies. Particular. Okay, I'm gonna put him here then. So he backs up and then attacks you with a heat blast. With plus zero, hits you for two. And muddles you, which you should already be muddled. I am extra muddled. All Did right. you draw two cards when you were muddled? No, you didn't. Just Shoot, no, because it, it wasn't my turn, so I didn't think well, of it. Well, do it. Well, it would have been a plus two. Right, All right. And so the plus one was less, so we're fine. Oh. Terrible. I know. Um. Yeah. You know what? I might switch what I was going to do with these two cards. I've done that before. Hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. We had a lot more viewers earlier, but then yeah, well, we took forever to get the lighting. Who the heck wants to watch the lighting show? Um, yeah, no. Okay, so I'm just, I had to move four so I could go up to this guy, so I might as well one, two, three, four, you go past all him, the way right? to there. And then I'm going to, oh, wait a second, I don't want to be adjacent to him if it's, I don't want to go there. I'm going to go, nope, I guess I'll go to here instead. And I'm not adjacent to him. Well, I'm already muddled. I can't be worse, can I? No. So it doesn't matter if I'm adjacent for the ranged. You could go further. Yep. All the way to there. Okay. So, attack th I am doing flaming sickle, which is attack three, range two. Oh, these Minus are one, which means I'm only doing two damage. Oh, sorry, I got to pull two cards. Still a minus one. Um, and then I pull him one, but I don't, right? Yeah, Because it wouldn't come closer to me. Mm -mm. Yeah, fire is infused. You just moved here and pulled this guy into the trap. Oh, uh. You said you were going to take care of him. Well, I know. I didn't know you're pulling and stuff. You didn't even let me attack with the second guy, did I? I did. You know what? I didn't draw two cards for him. He was muddled. He should take one less damage. I like taking one less damage. I'm Man, like, we're screwing up left and right here. Oh uh, no! Why both, are we making these they videos? They both attacked. They both Who wants attacked. to watch this? I went. I moved. I attacked him. I did. Fires infused. I don't learn anything. When was this mist drawn? Like I don't even know. That, this first guy swung and missed me. The second guy. Oh, he wasn't muddled. So the first guy would have drawn those two. Okay. And then this guy would have drawn that. Well, the end result is the same. I still end up okay. with the minus one damage. You're good. Um, yeah. I'm done. Okay. When do you get to go? I start by moving four, but I'm going to use the dart to turn it into a move three. I then get one experience point, and I get to make an attack two after the move. So I'm going to one, two, three, and I'm going to attack him. He. Oh, jeez. I curse. Their deck, which I am going to put right there for now. Um, and then I do one, two, three, poisoned is four damage, which will kill him. So if you can grab a coin, we'll put this over in my discard pile. And then that's only a, that was a bottom as my top. I will use freeze the soul which is an attack three and poison, but I'm gonna use the ice to make it an attack four, poison and muddle. So we have an attack four, plus one is five damage. So five damage to number one. You didn't actually kill him and put a coin out. You put the coin up in the text. And muddled and poisoned, which I have over here. And as you can tell, yes, I do lots of negative status effects. Yes. That also gets me experience point. It is the end of the round. I have to shuffle the monster deck for a couple of reasons. Because we have a miss, so we are going to reshuffle that. This is mine. I do not have a reshuffle. The elements wane. And we're playing for the next round. Have your cards changed? Is this annoying? I'm they like, haven't changed since the last time. No, I know, but I just overall. I keep looking for things that I don't have. It's You're no longer muddled, right? 
that's yes I like that answer how hurt are you mm, a wee bit I have more than half my hit points it's just the door now right yeah like I'm thinking I should run up and hit the door that's so and there's this guy that's still here. Yeah, there's this guy still here, and it turns out I all my moves are freaking twos. Hmm. Except this one that's a move four, but it's the other part of the attack I want to do, so that doesn't Well, I work. could probably get you to the door. I can get you to the door. Yeah? Cool. If you but can get me to the door... But we need to get rid of this guy. That's the problem. Yeah, if you can get me to the door... And I have well, you have to yeah. move. I can't get you to the door on my own. Oh, okay. You can just make me go one more. I'm not allowed to talk numbers. Right. Well, could you get me beyond the door? Yep. Excellent. Do I need to be close to you? Somewhat. Just move like you were going to move. Okay. Are you going to hit this guy first, though? Uh, don't do so. Hmm. Nope, I don't think so. You're the one, the damage dealer, not me. I know. <laughs> Um, I can't actually... No, because if I'm standing there, I can't pull this guy into any of those traps. Oh. God damn it. No. Maybe I just won't run through the door. I can smack him. You can I can him. hit him, I just don't know if I'll kill him. I not, I'm not that strong. <laughs> I can hit him because I think that's what I'll do. I can might kill him because he is poisoned, so it'll do one extra damage, and he's at seven. So five? No, he's only at five. Yeah, he's at five. So we need to do at least two. Mm -hmm. Which, there's a chance I'll get them, but I might not. Yeah, alright. I can do it, that's no, fine. Um, well, the other thing Save is we don't have to kill later. the bad guys. We have to get to the end. Yeah, that's but they the... move four. If we don't kill this guy, he's just going to come that's follow true. us from behind. Move four is too annoying. Just keep moving. I'll try to kill him. If I fail, I fail. Yeah, but I wanted to run up in here and pull these guys, and I can't. I well, can't actually so do what do I wanted that. to do. So I'm like, what is the point of that? Oi. I want to do this blade dance where I get to... Okay. We've been live for two hours already. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm just going to do this. I need to go after you. Are you attacking him or no? Mm. Before. Well, it doesn't really matter. Actually. I am not attacking him. Okay. It doesn't matter if you go before or after me. Okay. I'm going at 43. I'm going at 16. They are at 25. They are moving and attacking, and thankfully okay, there's yeah. no dark infused. So it's me, them, and then you? Yep. Yeah. See, that may mess things up. May. Oh, fuck, yeah, no. I have to go after you. This is well, totally Well, you didn't useless. say that. Well, I needed you to move me up, right? I'm only going to move two. That's totally useless. I quit. Well, I suck tonight. I asked. I know, you did. Probably more useless the other way around. I... Four. 
I wish I didn't use my item on that first thing, but I hated the waste to turn. So I'm going to use this to move to the jump, but it doesn't matter. You could have got right on the door. Okay. Hmm? From here? Oh no, never mind. You're not where I thought you were. No, one, two, right to there. Shield one. Yeah, I have shield one until the end of the turn. Um, and then I'm going to do my blade dance, and I will attack this guy, who is three away. And I could pull him two into this trap, but I don't think there's any point. He wouldn't still be muddled at this point, though, would yes, he? Yes, he would, because oh. I muddled him and poisoned him. Okay. So it's just an attack one, I hit him for one, plus the poison is two. Then I get to move to, I get to the door, I get to pause and open the door. Yeah. Put them on. This guy goes here, and this guy goes oh, here. Oh, cultists. Great. That could mess up everything. Zealots. Sorry. I need this. If you have jumped, you have jumped for your whole turn. Or just for that section? No, just for that yeah. section. Okay. That's why there's dotted lines. Yeah, that's right. The Z-Lots are going at 77. Okay. So then I still have one move left. And I can... You could just stand in the door. I could. That might let you pull people into things. It's true. I could, I could wait in the doorway, but then I wouldn't get to hit him this round. I can attack him right now, or I can stay in the door. <sighs> I mean, it's only an attack one. Mm, look at what they're doing. It's only moving two and then attacking you. If you stand in the door, it can't you reach can't you. can't even hit me if I stand in the door. Yeah, that's probably smarter. I guess I'll just stay there, and I will forego the second part Though you my wasted attack. my card, too, because yeah, now I there's know. no reason to give you extra move. Are you done? Um, yeah. I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to use my stamina potion to pull one of these cards back. But, uh, but if there's no freaking fire, it doesn't matter. There is fire. It's infused right but now. But there won't be next turn. No. Like, that's what I'm saying. Are you done? I'm going to pull this card back with my stamina potion. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. It's them, right? Chaos tendrils. So number one doesn't need to move to attack me. It is going to attack me at strength four with disadvantage. Oh, nice. Got lucky. I like that it missed. Got lucky. Got very lucky. Um, which gets rid of its muddled. Then the other demon is going to move up to... And that's it for them. Then it's me. Now i got to decide what I'm going to do because you changed what I had planned to do. Alright, I am still going to do this, except that would infuse. Um, so I'm going to start by moving two. One, two. And then one ally within range three can move two. I don't know if you now want to move up next to him. No, because I just planned out my next turn to be able to pull him into that trap, so I think I want to stay where I am. Okay. And then we are going to use Turn Out the Lights, which is an attack two range three. But unfortunately, I'm next to him, so I am going to have disadvantage. Draw one. Draw two. So it is a minus one. So I hit him for one. 
Plus the poison. Plus the poison is two, which is enough to kill him. Excellent. So coin, please. And that is that. Next, the cultist is going to move towards you minus one, so their move is one. Now they wound. It would now attack in a burst, but there's nothing to burst. Okay. How many hit points do the chaos demons have? Eight. Eight. Okay. So. If I could get in range. I think if this goes right, should be able to. This is done. Are you going to be out of that doorway? I think I'm staying in the doorway. Okay. <laughs> burst, a new keyword. I don't recognize burst. Do you remember burst? Possibly. No, that is possibly a new keyword. Where are the rest of the books, Steve? Burst. I do not remember burst. Burst is not in the. Did I say burst in regards to something? When you were talking. About oh, that. I think I just called it a burst. You it's an area it attack. Okay, there you Sorry, go. Sorry, that's just my role playing terms. Burst. It just it's a melee attack that hits two. It's a, a, a multiple so target and I forget what they call the them area effects. Sure. I think they call them area effects. I can't remember the technical term. I play too many games. No, it's not even area effect. I don't remember what they call those. I'm looking for it. It's probably under targeting. So what they did in this book is they split the the all the different rules the, into a glossary, which is a separate book. Which you probably recognize if you've ever played a fantasy flight game. Twelve. Area effect depiction. Area effect. Page three. So it's area effect. Yeah, I skipped right over. Area effect is on page three. Depicts an area that can be targeted by an attack, by an ability typically an attack, etc. So yeah, there's a whole thick glossary book here, which is just you reference it while you're playing, which we haven't had to use it very often, but... So you are not leaving the door? I'm going to stay right there, unless you really want me to move. Well, just I don't have much I can do if you don't. Get out of the way. I'm hoping to hit him, pull him into the trap, and hit him a second time. Okay. Possibly taking him out all in one go. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It's awesome. And then I'm going to make him step into the other trap. If he's not dead? If he's not dead. Oh, no, because I can't get close enough. So that's on my move. See, this is the problem. Ah. If that wasn't on my move, it would work. All right. Hmm. I want to do that. Alright, we're just going to use this. Alright, I really want to get in the door, but that's fine. So yeah, the, the glossary is actually really nice. I, I wish we had this for Gloomhaven, just to have the one book, just to look everything up. So it's just all in alphabetical order, showing you all the different things. It's a great reference. Yeah, it's a great reference. Like, what's a standee? And you look it up, and it tells you what a standee well, is. Well, I hope I don't have to look that one up. And then, like, here's the, the, the how to read a card page. Like, it's really well done, to be honest. Here's the how, how to read an ability card and so on. Alright, I am going... Um, it doesn't matter if I go fast or slow. I don't think. These guys muddle not poison. I'm going pretty fast. I'm hoping I'm going before that demon. I'm going to go slow, just in case. Okay. So, so 72. You're at 72. I'm at 13. Oh, i got to shuffle the monster deck. Okay. Your deck, do you have to shuffle? No, I Just do not. Double checking. I double checked it. I do have to take this shield and gone. And then let me double check both monster things just to make sure. No. And no. Let me bring those a little further so down. flip those over so they have numbers. All right. Chaos Demon is infusing everything. Holy cow. Mana Explosion. I'm amused by that. It's it's a it's a move. It's a basic move, basic attack, but infuse oh, everything. Yeah. 
It's too bad I'm going to be killing him because I'd love him to infuse everything. And then we have the calculated strike happening by the other one, which is a move minus one, so the zealot's going to be useless again. Yep. Excellent. I like that answer. Uh, sorry, so so I am at 16, or 13, sorry, I'm at 13. Yes, then the zealot. Then we have the zealot. And then me. So this is something else new, because we have someone in our chat room today chaos. who's yeah. never seen Jaws of the Lion, are these so initiative tokens. These little tokens, which are too small Which I hate do. that they're so small. I wish they were brighter colors to and indicate I, which ones yeah. were which. The bad guys are all the same red, they're a little hard to read, but they're still, it's nice to have. Because sometimes you forget which card you picked. Like, I won't, did I pick 23 or 72 as my initiative? Right? Like, so that's useful. Plus, it's good to look over and go, okay, who's next? What's going to go next? It's a nice touch. Now, normally we use the Gloomhaven Helper app, but because I'm also reviewing this as a, as a, a reviewer, we're trying to use the physical components. And I got to say, the tray is a nice touch. Like, that comes with the game. Mm -hmm. All right, do what All you're right, doing. So, what I'm doing. Doing what I'm doing. So, my flaming sickle. You're not showing the card. Right. You're showing it to your camera. There you right? go. Uh, the Flaming Sickle, which is an attack three, range two, will hit this guy. For minus two. That's so you do terrible. One, so I do one. Then two I, number. Two number three. Then I pull him one into this trap, so he's going to take three more damage. Three here, more? Here's the, yeah, may as well. Here's the three right here. Okay. And then... I will do an attack two on him for an additional two. So he has taken six of eight. And if I could have walked him into the trap, that would have got him. But well. I did what I could. Next. Oh, um, fire is infused. Okay. And I don't learn anything, and nothing else happens. My turn is done. Now, I will point out one complaint. Like, I think this looked great in the CAD drawing, but they don't, everything doesn't quite fit. When you go to so the these destroyed on, tokens are all supposed to go into this pack right here, and you can kind of see they don't actually fit. Yeah, they don't really work <laughs> when you want to put them away. Now, to be honest, there's an extra room in the one with all the overlays, so I just put them in there. But I'm just a little disappointed that it tells you to put them in here and they actually don't fit in there. Even so, the coins and stuff. And the coins, really like, if you look, they're actually sticking up above the, the lip of the tray just a little tiny bit. So, like I said, I think it's one of those things that look great in CAD, but once they actually physically produced it, the things are just off by millimeters. But it is nice compared to um, not needing an insert at all. So the Zealot is moving minus one, so it's only moving one. That's it. Staying up nice by all those traps. Then we come to me. I am going to start with a move three and just move up to here. Then I am going to heal two, range two, targeting two of us. Oh, I like that. Um, if you were poisoned, you would also get blessed, which you're not. And I actually don't need the healing, but I figured why not. Yeah. I'm like, you're the one that up soaking helpful. all the damage. I wish these had gone first because they could have done so much more if elements were infused. <sighs> I don't Kay. know. Next, the Chaos Demon goes. Mm -hmm. It's not going to move. It's going to attack you at plus zero. Ooh, plus two. Plus three is five damage. I don't yeah. know if you want to burn a card. Good gravy. Do I want to burn a card? I might. I did just heal you. He that's why. I, that's me. why I was... I mean, I can take it, but... Jeez, that's a lot. Note the cultists have attack three wound. If they... when that, Once that... Folk right? ever gets in range. Mm. I think I might burn a card. Oh, did we bump and the book? And regret it, regret it later. We bumped like I regret something. Everything. I apologize. Which one of these am I going to get rid of? We've got a felt mat on my table, and I think what happens is the mat gets moved. Hmm. Like when I lean in. I All right. Need you need to finish your decision. Yeah, I'm going to throw away this card. Show people what you're burning. Uh, yeah, eeny, meeny, money more. I can't decide between these two. So, I'm thinking there's not a lot where I'm targeting all the Jason enemies. There's not a lot of guys in here to group them up, so I'm no. thinking of getting rid of this one. Though at the end, the last fight looks like it might be. Yeah, I might. Yep. Plus 
plus it's got the cool attack on the bottom, which is the only one I have an attack on the bottom. And this is a loot card, and I don't care about looting. And this has a short, shorter initiative. So I'm going to get rid of the burning, blinding sickle. And then I will all right, instead of taking damage. Instead of taking damage. And then they infuse all the things. And that is the end of the round. So all these are going to actually slide down one. Okay, they infused all the things. I am going to take a short rest. Unfortunately, everything I have that um, would use all the things. And I can't use dark twice. So I am going to walk someone into a trap. Which will kill the one, or it might be the other guy. Um, hopefully I'll go before them. And I'm not going to short, short rest. rest. I am setting this here. I know you could technically I'm see it, but you can see my initiative there. Do this, and I need a bottom one. So bottom one. This is a reshuffle. Do you have a problem with me just staying where I am? Oh, I don't care. You don't care. This round? He's uh, this guy's almost dead, right? Though. Uh, he has two There's left. Else I think, so. Oh, you should be muddled. There were some other changes to, again, tabletopbellhop.com. I got an article where I described them all. But one of them is line of sight now is from any part of the square you're attacking from to any part of the opponent's square without touching a wall. So unlike the old rules where, like, tracking from this corner would count as a block, I can easily attack this guy. I could attack someone in this square by going that corner to that corner and so on. So they've definitely uh, improved on the rules for that made it definitely simpler that's one we might port over to regular Gloomhaven when we start back up the main game you could have been a reorder. yeah I've been ready for yeah I was, you were talking I said I was good to go but... alright 36 for me 41 for the demon 36. and 19 for the 19 for the zealot. zealot and I am at 16 16 19 36. And then them. Yep. Got it. Okay. So. Ooh, they're healing themselves. If we don't kill the chaos thing, it's going to be annoying. Yeah, that will be annoying. Okay. I'm going to kill him, though, so you could ignore him and go attack the other guy. Oh, well. That's what I told you to do. I said I was going to kill the zealot by making him walk into, or the thing, by making him walk into a trap. Okay, it's fine. Were you not listening? Yeah, I zoned out. I was thinking about my own shit. Sorry. See, you're not supposed to do that. It's a co-op game. Yeah, I know. Um, so I'm going to move to with the jump to here, which gives me shield until the end of the turn, which might be useful. And then I'm going to, um, attack this fella here. So it's an attack one, range three. I'll use the fire to give it plus one attack. So it'll be an attack two. So it's just attack two. Then I pull What number is it? He is number three. Then it's pull two. Yep. So does that... Would he stop at this one or go through both of them? You can't pull him the other one. It's no closer to you. Oh, okay. Well, I pull him there. All right. So he takes three more. He takes three more. That's for him. The trap goes away. Then I have move two. I can't pull him into this trap if I'm standing no. here. That's not closer, right? No. Yeah. So, I'll just... Shit. I was muddled. We are it explicit. Should be, should be minus one. Um, You're failing a PG. Sorry. I can... I'm just thinking I'll move backwards so that I... I was thinking I would move backwards so I didn't have the disadvantage, and that's what reminded me that I'm actually muddled. So I guess I'll just go there, except he's going to move plus one this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not like he's not going to be able to come after me. So I'll go there, I'll attack him a second time. You're still muddled. Yes. I, I will remember this time. You miss. I miss. The, uh, I use the light up. 
to do plus one attack and to pull him, which I don't actually pull him. Oh, but yeah. I but I learn from sure. this experience, and I have to shuffle my deck because I drew my miss. You're no longer muddled. Alright, uh, I'm going to start with Lure of the Void. First off, I disarm the Chaos, which I'm not quite sure how that works, at range 3, and then I force the target to perform move 1. Ooh, look at that. And he goes splat into the trap. We'll need a coin. And are there, there's no more Chaos spawns, right? They're done. So we're just going to remove this from the board so we can slide this down a bit better into the camera. Though I know it's not great. So they are all gone. Then I have a move three, but I will use the dark to make that a move five to actually catch up here. One, actually, I don't need to. I'm just going to use it as a move three. But you know what? I haven't collected any gold. Good choice. I haven't collected any gold. We're going to do that. So then, at the end of the round, I loot. And I think I am going to short rest. It's either that or next turn at long rest. But I don't need to heal. The only thing good about... Oh, no, this doesn't come back in a long rest. No, I have no good reason to long rest. So I'm going to short rest. Did we... We screwed up. You're going and he hasn't gone. The zealot was next. Okay. It wouldn't have affected what you were doing down here with Chaos Demon, but he has to go next because he gets sure. to smack on me. Okay. You've moved me. Now put yourself back. Why? Okay. So he doesn't need to move, he's already next to you. Yep. He attacks. Four, th three. Okay. He curses you, and he wounds you. I only take two damage because of my shield. He takes one damage because of my shield. I need a curse. Wound status. There is a curse. Thank you. Then that's the end of his turn, right? And that's the end of his turn. He infuses wound. Then I cause him to walk in here and die, dropping a coin. Then I move over there and pick up the coin. Right? Yep. Then who goes? Chaos Demon. Which are dead. Yep. So we can remove this. Yes. Alright. And I short rested, but I hadn't finished short rested. No, yeah. I, I am going to spend a gold. I don't have any way to get him into that. A gold? You. Good thing. I mean a hit point, right? Um, I don't have any way to get him into that trap, regrettably. It's very sad. Ah, these both suck to lose. Oh well. I lost a bad card. I lost, well, a good card. I lost this from my short rest. That's your advantage of long resting. <laughs> that one that's all. Wind is the only thing infused. Yeah, and I have to shuffle my deck. <laughs> and I have like piles of stuff on the map of what so people can see. Sorry, I was trying to make it less cluttered. Well, I could smack this guy twice. Probably finish him off. Could you get to the treasure chest? I don't have a jump, so no. no. I'm not walking through traps. 
I would like to open the door. Not this round. Well, if, if perchance I killed him, could you get to the treasure chest? No. No. I would need a four. Yeah, I don't or know. Or a jump. I don't know if you have a four. As am I. 23. I am at 10. And you are at 23. They're at 27. Oh, they're going to heal if you don't kill them this round. I will do my best. So, I am using Shield of the Desert. Not down here. The camera's up there. Shield of the Desert <laughs> for an attack 3. Minus 1, so I'm only doing 2. I have to take a wound at the beginning of my turn. I will remember to do that as well. Oh, I should heal you. Oh, well. And, yeah. And then, a twirly stab. How much did you do? Oh, I did a, a minus one, which and it was an attack three, which means I only did two. Two damage. So you still have to put two damage up? Yes. Which I think kills it. Does that finish more? Nope, it's one away. And then, okay. and then a twirling stab, I will do an attack two, plus one, so that's three, so it's he dead. should be done. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, make a pile of stuff. Get this guy off of here, and put this lovely coin there instead. Stuff up when you get a chance. Okay. So it's me. I'm going to start off with suggestion just to use as a move three. Now go one, two, three. And then I guess I waste this card, which really hurts. I thought something would still be alive. That is a complete waste of XP you and burning. Move? Oh, well, no, you already moved no. with the. Yeah. That hurt. I told you I thought I was going to kill him. Yeah, I know. I pick up the treasure at the end of the turn. Oh, I gotta say, scenario so, four so far was way harder than this. Well, we'll see. So you want to go open that door, eh? I can't reach it this round. Uh, so what if I, I go get the, the chest book. and you go towards the door? Sure. If I'd been able to infuse black, I would have been able to reach the door. I wish I had a heal card. I don't. Because I'm like, this would be a great time to heal. Oh, I can heal you, but it will poison you. That sounds How like hurt are you? Bad if you're hurt enough, it's probably I'm wounded worth and much? I'm at almost half my hit points. Can you be healed now? All right, I'll heal you and poison you. It's probably worth it. Okay. And then I will move towards the door. And I will grab the treasure chest. Oh wait, can I reach the door? I can reach the door, but I need to one, two, three, four. No, not doesn't work. Because I'm like, I could take a long rest. Or I could get the treasure chest. You could take a long rest. I could get the treasure chest, too, if you want. But then I'm not moving towards the door. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't think we're going to leave this room without getting it. We don't know well, what's no, in there, we but it could be it. something useful, and we can use it right away. So that's a, that's one of the cool changes. Yes. It's, Sean covered it in the chat. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Yeah, I'm good. There's no badness. Yeah, 36. It doesn't I'm really matter. 13. We're going to need that matters. soon enough. So, um, I'm putting on shield if you do open the door. I don't think you are. No, I said I can't. And I'm going to move. I'm just going to use this as a move card and go down here and grab this treasure chest, which says it is number 9. Like cleaned up. I need this guy. 
just drop this off there. <clears throat> Five gold. That's it? Yeah. Yep. That sucks. So, number nine is five gold. You can mark that up. I thought it was going to be some cool magic item that no, pulled this No, five gold, here. not five coins. Oh, yes. Five gold. <laughs> five coins one. would be better. Five coins would be better. Mark it off in the book. All right, I move three. One, two, three. And then I heal five, range three, which is you. So I heal you five, like which that. I'm thinking is going to be worth it. Okay. Fuse dark. I'm and I poison wounded, you. But I am poisoned. Yeah, but you got to take three I hits know. for that to yeah, counterbalance, right? Yeah, and I'm all healed up, which is lovely. And next round. And I'm going to use the dark to do this. Well, I either have to take a long rest or a short rest at the end of this round. Well, you should about. probably short rest then. Unless you want me to waste a round. Yeah, I'll short rest. It's fine. I can waste a round nope. if you so want. No, you just healed me up. There's really no reason to long rest, except for the fact that I get my shield back. All I'm right. like, if you want. I, nope. I don't want to open short the room rest. if you're not coming. Are you going to even be able to get to the room? Uh, yeah, unless I... Well, okay. depends on what card I am about to burn. But yes, I should have movement that would get me there. Let's see. no traps in that room either. I don't know what special rules are going to happen either. Well, I can get up to there. That's it. I can go four. Uh, let's see. That's with a jump? I don't have a jump. On two, three, then no. four. Hmm. Right? So yeah. I can get to there. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I can get onto the door. No, wait. I'd need to jump. Hmm. <laughs> That's my big move four. That is the best I can do. Now, can I do anything from there? No, I don't think I can. Boy. I don't have any... Well, actually, if I did the blade dance, I'd move two more. That would get me six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd get up to there. I'd be able to hit one of them. And I'm not sure it's an improvement. Anyway. Oh wait, this one is moved for the jump. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I can get onto the door. From there. Yeah. I'm all set. From the frickin' door, though, can I actually hit anybody? I don't know. You see where they're gonna show up. Yeah. I don't think I have any range three attacks left. Because that's my move that would get me to the door. Boy, one, two, three. Alright. And. Are you going to go in the room? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to smack on whatever the... the we know it's a blood tumor. Mm -hmm. I'm going the to smack on the blood gross tumor. The thing that's in there, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm cheating, reading. <laughs> I'm going to see it, but man... Terrible things are about to happen. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. That's interesting. I found what's hard. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, I am going at 26. I am going at 38. So at 26? At 26, I'm going to move 4, but I'm using this to make it a move 3 so I can attack at the end. 1, 2, 3. 
You now spawn the enemies. The wind should be gone, right? No. I don't think so. Well, if you had to pull the dark from the strong, yeah. that's why I thought so. Okay. You're right. This needs to be shuffled. And the boss comes out from the boss deck. The zealots are going at 27. That's kind of horrible, too. And the blood tumor is up. I'm going to put it... Oh, no, I have to be able to read that. Let me put it right... I don't know. I guess it goes up here. Did you shuffle that? That's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to win this scenario right here. It's going at 85. Okay. So... As horrid as these creatures were, nothing could quite prepare you for what lies beyond this final stone door. A huge, huge cocoon of bloody flesh pulsates madly in front of you, bulbous and wrong. Its seeping fluid drips to the floor and thrashes with malevolence. The Nexus needs only a little more energy, yells a robed man, looking to you in a panic. We'll just have to take yours. Oh, we didn't mark these as open. We should be doing that since we're streaming and showing people how to play. Which is, I can't remember what you want. There are exclamation them. marks. There's a whole ton of. No. There you go. Those are open. Um, the blood tumor starts this scenario with 8 damage. I need 8 damage. Anytime a figure other than the blood tumor suffers damage, the blood tumor heals that amount. If it's ever over its max health, we lose. Oh, goodness. What's its max health? 20. Okay. So it has taken... I'm just going to spread these out. 8. Mm-hmm. Okay. See how... Yeah, okay. It almost feels like you should be putting it the other way around. All right. I gain an XP. I haven't gained much XP this game compared to last time. And that ends with an attack 2 on the tumor for plus 1. So 3 damage to the tumor. Then I get my top, which is Freeze the Soul, which is an attack three poison on the tumor. Nice. So we are going to go, boom, so three more on the tumor. There's your three and your poison. And poisoned. So he's at 12, 13, 14 out of 20. And I'm done. Who's next? The I wasn't the able to finish them off in one next. round. So the cultist is going to move zero, or move plus zero. They're going to focus on me. They're going to move one. Do you want them together, apart, next to the blood tumor? Does any of that matter? It doesn't. Well, I'm not going to want to hit them. I want to hit the, the hit because so I'm going to move him here one. Him, right? Then he's going to attack me at minus one. Oh, why do I want to, ah down here? It missed. Nice. That's lovely. So that doesn't heal anything. Then it heals itself, which doesn't matter because they're full health. The other one, I'm going to move same okay. spot. Then it attacks minus one. So it attacks minus two. It does zero damage to me. We couldn't have hoped for anything better. So you the blood tumor does not heal. There, so you remember to shuffle where you can see it. Okay. Then Excellent. you're next. I am. So yeah, I was going to attack them, but now that I have read the uh, yeah, don't attack interesting them. attacks, I'm going to swap up what I was doing a bit so instead remember the tumor's poison so you're gonna have plus one that was my goal was to poison it oh, right and if you can infuse black that would be awesome because i shouldn't be up in hand to hand against this thing no crap i can get it one, two, three, four. This is useless. Again. So, yeah, well, I have a move two, three, four up to here with the jump. Got time to plan. Yeah, I know. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. That is totally useless. Wow. Okay. I don't even think you showed your cards. You just cursed uh, on camera. Well, I... 
They are totally useless, and I don't feel like showing them is going to make them better. All right. That was not a good end. No. All right, then. Lingering Strength, the boss, heals two times the number of... Or heals the number of characters, so heals two. And then this gets shuffled. Everything's getting shuffled here. The zealots drawing drain life when they just spawned full health was very advantageous to us. Mm -hmm. I agree. How do I be in the spot here? That doesn't work. So. Oh, well, I might be able to move. Mm -hmm. Like if I can end up next to you. That would just heat the turkey. Hmm. Yeah, my best bet's to be in the square you're in. Yeah, if I do the shield myself thing and then the zealots attack me. Yeah, get rid of that card. Burn it. Like, get put it yeah. <laughs> before they do. Because, like, my whole thing was I was going to put on the big shield three so that it would do three you don't damage, want that. but I don't want that. No, you don't. Uh. I guess I will. I will burn that card. Because it ain't doing me any good. I can burn it at any time, right? Yeah. Oh, I'll wait and burn it when it's going to go off. Okay. Well, what if he hits me and it could sure. potentially Whatever. damage him? Can you end up next to me? Yeah. I, yep. Though, again, I don't know. I could add more poison. I just don't know why I would. Yeah, I can go up next to you. And or I can, I can back up do a around here. Relatively big smack on this guy. Alright, so you can reach him and everything? I can reach Kay. him and everything. I'm gonna do this then. And then from my bottom. Oh, I wish I knew what the zealots were fucking doing. And you want me adjacent to you, right? I can make that happen. Well, I could move back to get next to you, too, if no, that's no, better. No, that's fine. I'll be adjacent to you. Like, I'm wondering if backing up so these guys smack on you is better than them smacking on me, possibly. Well, that's... If it wasn't going to heal them, every, it healed the other thing every time... Yeah, I know. Oh, I got a thing that makes a bad guy attack another bad guy, and it hurts the person that attacks the amount that it hits. That would do so nothing. Would just negate, right? Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, the one zealot it would attack the heart and do six damage, but then take six damage itself, which would heal the heart six. Yeah. Except the zealot would have taken six and died, I guess. But I think we're better off just ignoring the zealot completely and just try to kill this thing. Yeah, if we can live through it. All right, I'm going super slow, though. 83. All right, I'm going at six. Zealots. Oh, attack minus one at least. Uh, 35. Okay. And the heart is at 73. The blood tumor. So I keep thinking that looks like a heart. So I get to go first. Alright, so I have move four, but I'm only going to use three of it to go right up here. And then I'm going to use Shield of the Desert to do an attack three on this disgusting mound of flesh. And I hit it for three. Okay, I need another three. Is it still poisoned? Yep, four. Because it didn't heal after you put the poison on it, right? No, it did heal. Right. So it wouldn't have healed too. It would have just got rid of the poison. Well, that's true. Well, that's somewhat. Which I'm going to poison it again. That's yes, kind of my. That's kind of your thing. Okay, what I'm so trying to do. then I just do three. So three, six, nine, ten. You can have ten. Well, I'll just we only have to do twenty, so that makes it. We might be able to do this. Okay. We only have, I only have to do three damage instead. Yeah. Six, seven. Okay, we just need to do 20? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, best of luck to you. Well, except it's going before me, so it's going to heal. I have... Which stinks. I yeah, should have tried stink. to go quicker. I have done both of my actions. I have learned nothing okay. from this. Okay, next is Zealots. So, which one's the lower number? One? So this four. one's a one. A four? So it's next to you, so it's going to attack. Mm -hmm. It's attacking for two. It's for three. See, this is the problem. Okay. And then the heart heals three. 
This is what's going to kill us. I no longer only have to do three. Mm-hmm. Then the other zealot is going to focus on me and move in. Can you move it in this way? Like, yes. It misses. Sweet. That's nice. That's the good thing. Okay. Then I go. The first thing I'm going to do is bless. Should I bless me or you? I honestly don't know. I've drawn three of my pluses, including my plus two. Yeah, maybe. So you're probably better. Yeah. So I bless you. I poison the heart. Um, range two, which also infuses ice. And then I use Gift of the Void, which is going to poison something in range three, which he's already poisoned, but it doesn't matter. Right. But you know what? No, I'll use my other ability to poison one of the zealots. Okay, my why first not? one. I guess. Right? So give me a poison. That way, if we do smack on it, maybe we'll kill it. Poison. poison. We'll do number four. Okay. That way, if we do hit it, because we can kill it in one hit, at least it's dead. Something, we don't have to worry right? about it. That infuses dark, but this is the interesting part. One adjacent ally may perform attack three at range four, targeting the thing I just poisoned. Oh, nice. But if you do, you take two damage. Huh. Okay. But I'm thinking it's worth it. Hit the hit, heart. Hit you're going to be disadvantaged, but... Okay. Gift of the Void is what it is. That's probably one of my most complicated cards right there. So... Times two. Don't... I'm at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. I have to pull twice. Oof. Wow. That was so not worth it. So you did two. That hurt. Oh, and I take two damage, right? Yes. That was part of the... Did we do his special one? We did, right? Him? Yes. He should have went before me. Did we do it? I don't think so. Shit. Okay. All right. It's not looking good. <laughs> so what is his special one? He heals. Again. Oh. Shoot. I honestly don't know if you already healed him or not. Alright. Hey, anyone in the chat room? How are we screwing up here? Did we already heal him? No problem. This round? Making it harder. They can't even see it, so it doesn't matter. It's too far up. Hmm. Damn it. I can't hit him anymore. That's the problem. Um, I will hit him twice. Stay where I am and I will hit him twice. I'm in a short rest. Okay, Sean says he healed once, which was last round. When he healed, wouldn't... No, because you went out. I hadn't poisoned yeah, him yet. Yeah, you poisoned him yet. Alright, I lost this card, which is fine. Because this is the card I was talking about that lets me move and have a monster attack another monster, which just doesn't work in this particular situation. All right, we're gonna do this, I think. And where's my attack on the bottom? This, perfect. 26. Shit. And we're gonna do you this. You know what, I will also short press because if I don't, I will use up all my cards and then if I get hit, I have nothing to throw away. And that would be tragic. Okay. So, yeah. So 20 stabs goes away. I don't want to target all adjacent enemies anyways. That would no. be a mess. Alright, I'm at 26. How are you having? I am at 13. Zealots at 46. Oh, they're going to hit both of us. That's horrible. The boss is at 14. 14? And I am at 13, so I go just before him. That's good. Okay, so, Warrior of the Sun, I will use this attack down here. So that's going to be three damage to him, you can plus the poison. poison, so that would be a total of four. Do you have it, or do no. you need some? Here's four. And then, 
Um, swift strength. I will attack. Uh, I'm going to be at disadvantage because it's a ranged attack. Can I choose not you to target two? You know. That's not a muddle, no. it's a poison. That's one I take there. I think you can choose not to. Let's look at the glossary. Well, either way, I'm targeting him first. For yeah, two. if you do two damage, he's dead and we win. Times two. We win. We kill this him. was not hard Excellent. compared to four. <laughs> like, it really wasn't. Maybe with four characters. Oh, and that was that bless that you gave me. That is there you go. The, See, the bless the saved bless the day. The bless saved the day. The bless saves the day. So it doesn't matter. Target two. Kill the other thing. Yeah, sure. Because uh, if he so dies, he'll drop coins. Okay, so I kill the monster, and he goes here. Drop a coin, yeah. And then, for my second target... Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, Sean. Mo, that didn't work. Because I had disadvantage and I have to draw two, two times. But I still do three damage to He's him, still dead. which was enough to kill him. But it's not actually the bless that did it. Target is an ability if the figure target the target of an ability is the figure. The ability will be performed on. Thanks. All targets in the ability must be in line of sight of the figure using the ability. Target X can also be added to any targeted ability to indicate the ability can target X separate figures. It does say can target. Yeah. A single okay. figure cannot be targeted multiple times by the same ability. The ability can still be performed even if the maximum allowable of figures cannot be targeted as long as one figure can be targeted. It does say can target. Okay. So. But for my second one, I would target him who is not adjacent to me. I don't have disadvantage and I hit him for two. Which is not enough to kill him. So two damage for that zealot. Is he? The, he's not the one that's. No. Uh, okay, there's two for number six, who is not poisoned. Okay. And. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus you did? I did three. Three, and his health is 10 times C. Ten, C is the number of characters, that's 20. It is dead. Okay. Which, again, with four people, that would have 40 health. Which would be crazy. Of course, it would also start damaged by 16 at the yeah. start of the fight. Okay. But I'm sure it's balanced. You got yeah. stuff mixed in. Sorry. So he is gone. Um, my He's two not cards. taking a turn. Isn't. Yeah, I was gonna move and attack him and do some funky stuff. But well, you could try and kill some cultists just cause. I should have got more XP. I am gonna use Grasp of Doom on the cultist next to me. It's an attack two. Minus two, so attack zero. But he is poisoned, wounded, cursed, and stunned. Phew, okay. Oh, these are here, but I reinfused those. Point of wounded, cursed, and stunned, and I get two XP. That's all I really cared about. And then I move four, but I'm going to use the black to go one last to move three. I don't know, it doesn't matter. And then I get an attack two. So he is, we need all the. Uh, well, didn't poison, do it. wounded, cursed, and stunned. Yes. It's not going to matter. I didn't think it I mattered. Can't kill him. Um, and then I hit him for plus zero, so I did two. There you go. Plus poison would be three. Plus poison would That's be That's not three. enough to kill him. Nope, exactly, and so it does not matter. I probably should have moved to grab the and coin he's instead. poisoned and wounded, and I could also be stunned if I can find stunned. I think that's this icon, but I don't think it really matters. Okay, then the zealots go. No, because they're going to go, okay. right? Like, so that one's stunned, so it's not doing anything. The yeah, other one's going to focus on you. First. It's going to move here and attack both of us. Mm -hmm. On you, it's an attack minus one. It hits for two and muddles you. And then on me, it hits so for three. Take an extra one because of poison. And you know what? I will use my studded leather. So he has disadvantage. He hits for two. I take one less. I take one damage down to four. And that is the end of the scenario. Okay, unless when you read the end of the scenario, we all take sudden death damage. We're good. Can you read it? That's far from me. Oh boy. I'll lean over it. Oh shoot, sorry. The bloody sack explodes into a shower of viscera and goo. Yuck. And the zealots who spent so much energy trying to protect it collapse to the ground. It is quite the awful putrid mess, but at least it's over. And then one of the dying men laughs. 
You think this will save your city? Doom approaches as more of our experiments grow in power. Gloomhaven will soon be engulfed in flames, and screams will echo throughout the streets. The blood god will consume you all. Corn. Yeah, blood for the blood god. Your thoughts return to the widow Sandy, and you grab the man, demanding to know where Roland and these other experiments are, but he is gone. Instead, you grab a chunk of the tumor and decide to bring it to the university. <laughs> mm. Perhaps the researchers there can use it. Shed. It should say use it to shed, but it says use it shed. Some more light on the situation. Rewards. 25 experience each. New location. Corrupted research number six. So we're still linear. Still linear. 25 XP? 25 XP each. 25. Da, 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 Plus, da, da, da. I got six. I got four. So 31 is 67. Do we also get six XP for completing this? I bet you we do. Oh, yeah, we should. We should get the normal six, too. So yeah, right? Six Scenario 5 complete. Congratulations on killing the boss and completing Scenario 5. Make sure to read the conclusion text and rewards and update the city map board and record any check marks to gold and experience, including the 6 bonus. And then, this doesn't remind you here, yeah, you should, should now should have 45 city. XP and you should level up. We should do a city event, too. This is the last thing we need to cover, plus we have to do a city event. So we have a few things to cover. Are we going to set it up and do it, or are we going to do it... Here, what are we doing hmm. for for video wise? For what are we video doing? Video wise, do you guys want to see the map, the exciting map, which we are about to stick a sticker? Well, you can on. put that in front here. That's. Can you see it? I'll move it. Okay. Number six. Which goes in B four. I was going to say move it and put that down instead, but that's fine. Yeah. Like let's clean that. up this stuff quick. Okay. Because it's not like it's hard to clean up. No. All the status stuff goes in the same pile. It's quick. The trays are actually helpful. They just annoy me with their slight sizing issues. Those need to be stacked or they won't fit. Mm -hmm. As I was saying. These also, I think, need to be stacked or they yeah, stick well, out. Yeah, we'll worry about that when we're... Oh, no, Alright, monster deck. We're going to sort through the monster deck and make sure there's this no really curses nice. or blesses in here. This one's really nice. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, mm. New. With new and improved, quicker cleanup. Yes. Ooh. Much quicker cleanup than the original. Oh no, earthquake. All right, here is our map of Gloomhaven, and you are adding a sticker. I am. Okay. Or whatever. Number it six matter. is going on B four. B four, and these guys are yeah, they're a little hard to line up, but you can get them to match the picture. They should line up perfectly if you do it right, but oh, it's yeah, not easy. If you don't suck. All right. Ta da! Oh, you did good this time. Except for sticking everyone on the screen the finger. Well, I didn't. That wasn't. <laughs> okay. You get to mark off number five. Yep, which is over here. We're going across town. Mm hmm. To the research station center. University. Alright, we'll, I think we'll leave that up while we're sure. finishing this off. So now a city event, now that we can see the city map. Okay, two gold per coin. What are coins? Here are my coins. We should have over 45 XP, so we will level up. After any scenario, if you've gained it, you are going to cross off your new level. So I'm now level two. And then we are going to go into our deck and find the two cards. And oddly, and I always hated this rule in the original Gloomhaven, and they didn't change it here, we have to pick one to add, which I've always hated. Uh, why not just give us and both it, and give us more options? That's it, that's all you have going forward. So you get to choose one to add, 
you always get to add one new card. So my options are give and take, which is going to poison myself or one ally, but bless and strengthen a different ally within range three. What a useless card in a two-player campaign. Yeah. Although Do I guess you, it could um, be me. You don't have anything that would like green infused, right? No. No. So I, I could I would poison myself to give you bless and strengthen. The only thing good about it though is it's a move for jump on the bottom that also curses and a bunch of other stuff, but it's a burn. I don't think I'm taking that. Hmm. Or I have Crushing Cold. One ally within range three may perform attack four, targeting two, which can also muddle and it gives XP, but again, it's a burn. And it's a move and muddle range three on the bottom. I think I am taking this over the other one. Give and take might be good in a four player campaign, but in a two player campaign, I can't see that being very useful. So I am not taking that. Oh. Okay, so first I looked at this one and I'm thinking, this is interesting. It's got the shield, which will play off my shield spikes. You can pull guys in, and then all adjacent enemies will suffer one damage. And it infuses fire. That's cool. Or down here, um, with light, I can move to and learn things. And also attack one and wound. And it's cool to have attacks in the bottom movement. But then I saw the second card, and my greedy little heart... Once this move five where you loot each hex you enter. <laughs> that's I don't know. That's I'm like, no, that's great. You just go collect all the burn, stuff. Shoo, it's a burn though. Yeah. But then I get an attack four at range two. Oh well, that part's nice. So I'm like, that's a pretty good one. It infuses green though, which no one in our party uses. No. But it also infuses light. So I can't decide. I, I don't know. Being able to just loot everything would be cool. I'm probably going to take the non-loot version. I like having the attack on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So how did you do on your battle goal? I successfully completed Trailblazer. Open a door and end your same turn in the revealed room. No, you'd have to actually enter, not be on the door. So I did earn a check. So yeah, I kind of guessed off. there was a reason you yeah, wanted to enter a door. No, the only way I could have done this... Okay, so what I had to do was apply any negative condition to a monster while you have any negative condition. And the only way I could do that, since I don't personally apply any negative conditions, was by pulling them into one of the muddle traps while I had a condition on me. And well, I didn't... We probably could have done that I didn't, if you would help coordinate it. I wasn't able to pull it off. The other one was... Because I could have poisoned you right at the start of the game if you wanted me to. Yeah, well... That could have been my first action is to poison that's you. That's true. Um, but the the other option, which I didn't take, was be the first one to pass out. Be exhausted. And I'm like, yeah, that's I don't want to do that in a boss fight. No. Okay. Now, the other thing we do get from leveling up is we do get to pick a perk. I'm really considering removing two minus one cards. Yeah. Ooh, replace a plus zero with a plus one infused dark. Oh, that's tempting. Or add a plus three, or add a plus one curse. I think I am going to remove, replace one plus zero with a plus one infused dark. So I am going with that perk right there. Which means I need to grab my other little... I always think getting the minuses out is good. So remove a minus two card and add a plus one. You know? So I have no idea. Or one that will infuse both fire and light. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to go with the remove the minus two out of plus one. There is my new shiny plus one infused dark card. And out comes. So this is another change from the original Gloomhaven. Each character class has its own attack modifier deck, which is an interesting choice. They're still all the same, though. And that is the one I pulled out. Oh, no, what's weird, though, is nothing tells you which of these are basics or not. Hmm. That's the bad part. Well, I guess you wouldn't have a plus zero. You don't zero have any your, indication of what you. Because I'm build. putting this in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it with the Hulk card. Yeah, exactly. But that is what I have been doing. I didn't pull any out yet, so. But there's nothing to indicate what's in that basic deck. Yeah. So somewhere on the table, what do I do with them? 
I found more of these, which I was going to use one to help pack up my stuff next time. All right, what else we got? You pick, pick your perk? And I picked my perk. Okay, let's go back to learn the play guide, see if there's anything else we need to do. So now we have scenario level. So up till now, we thought the monsters would get tougher, but no, because now is a good time to talk about scenario level. So one of the biggest things that people mess up in Gloomhaven and Jaws of the Lion is that the difficulty is the average character level divided by two rounded up. We're both level two. Two divided by two is only one. So we are still fighting on Even level one. Round it up. It's still it's a still one. one. <laughs> it is something people mess up a lot. And which is Gloomhaven. why you're like, oh my god, why is it so tough? I can't win. Yes. <laughs> so we are still so until someone reaches level three, we are still playing on level one. The other option is going forward, if we were having difficulty with this, we could switch to easy difficulty, which would get us less experience. Traps would do less damage. Gold would still be worth amount, the same amount and so on. There's a chart here that explains it all. Or we could up the difficulty by playing on hard or so on. Um, so you can even play on very hard and up the difficulty by two, which it hadn't introduced those rules. I would have been tempted to do that in those first couple scenarios. And what that does is it gives you more bonus experience, right? So if you're level one, but you're doing a level three scenario, you're gonna get 10 bonus experience. Mm -hmm. Plus the gold you find is gonna be worth three each. But trap damage is five, and so on. So some other rules they explain. And there's some interesting one here that I think are worth, worth talking about. So here are a few other rules they weren't introduced to that are important. One is, if a player can't make it to a game, or you have an extra player that wants to try it out, feel free to add or subtract players as needed. It can easily accommodate two to four characters, and the scenario level scales to the average level of the character, so it's okay. If a character falls behind, or you start out a new character at level one, with all their level 1 and X cards, even if you're higher levels, just be sure to teach the new player how to play. Hmm. Some bosses' abilities are too complicated to be on the card. They will be explained in the scenario. If you ever run out of a certain type of standees, place what you can. That's the same as Gloomhaven. Mm -hmm. When you reach level 3, you will be able to hold another small item. You can get a number of small items equal to your level rounded up. That's the same as Gloomhaven. Once you reach level 5, you get another pack of ability cards which have some special instructions, I guess. The um, Holt pack. Yeah, the other Holt pack. If you get in the weeds on figuring out how a monster behaves, check out the appendix in the rural glossary. Some monsters also have loots. When a monster loots a money token or a treasure tile, right there is a difference from the original Gloomhaven, is monsters can loot treasure tiles. That's tragic. Um, you return it to the tray with no effect. You'll have to start the scenario over if you want to claim that. Some abilities refer to empty hexes. It's empty if it's within, within the walls of the scenario, is not difficult terrain, does not contain a figure, obstacle, or trap. Open doors and destroyed obstacles and objectives are all considered empty unless the hex also has a figure or trap. What's important to note there is it's coins no longer take up spots. Oh, yeah. Before things couldn't uh, spawn, spawn on a coin. Coins were. Yeah, they fixed mm -hmm. that. And I think that should be ported over to Gloomhaven. Yeah. Um, some scenario rewards will cause you to close scenarios, which means they mark, must be marked off on the city map board and can no longer be played. Note, you will not play all scenarios in the game as part of the campaign. There will be choices to be made. Oh, good. That's important to know. I'm glad to know that. Cause... If you'd like to start over, it will be difficult to reverse the city map board, but everything else is just decks of cards and can be reset. There's actually a number on every card. Rearrange the decks in numeric order. You're good to go. And then all you have to do is track the scenario some other way on a pad of paper and probably the back of your character sheet. You could probably just write down what scenarios you have unlocked. Done. That is the end of the tutorial of Gloomhaven uh, with the Jaws of the Lion. Oh, we didn't do the city event. Yes, I reminded you several times, but you went yeah, to level well, we first. Didn't do it. All right. Our city event. We yeah, should have. Oh well. We could do this later. But a witch, an inox dock worker, curse slurs loudly from the corner of the sleeping lion. She came out of the sewers and turned the foreman into into a fish. You turn back to your drink. But the man keeps shouting, "I'll stake three days' pay for anyone who can kill her." Suddenly, you're interested in his ramblings. You follow the drunk's directions, which, predictably, get you hopelessly lost in the network of sewers under Gloomhaven. You're considering just tunneling to the surface when you hear scratching behind you. You draw your weapons and turn, ready for a fight. 
An ancient Valra stands feebly before you, bent and wizened with age. A cord of dried fish hangs around her neck. She ignores your weapons and silently points a gnarled finger past you down a nearby passage. Cut her down and claim the reward, or she's just an old hermit in the sewer. Leave her be, but follow where she pointed. I'm going to follow where she points. That's my vote. All right, I'll go with it. I was tempted to cut her down. You wave farewell and start down the passage, but the crone follows close behind you. She wasn't pointing your way out, but instead guided you towards a small hovel where a cauldron bubbles over an anemic campfire. The Volrath pours each of you a cup of the most delicious fish soup you've ever tasted. After a pleasant time sipping in silence, you leave feeling much heartier. You wonder why the dock worker would make such an unkind accusation against that poor sewer hermit. Each character gains bless. Which we gotta remember next game, we got the bless, bless. legitimately. Legit. Because <laughs> we'll forget the bless. And I'll be like, oh no, take that out of my deck. Yeah. Alright, so that was the end of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion scenario number five. Our first boss fight. Um, a rather interesting scenario. I really like the special effect for the bad guy. Yeah. Where it healed if you did any dam any damage happened to anything but the boss, healed the boss. And if the boss ever got past its maximum hit points, we lost. It opened a rift or whatever. I thought that was really neat. And totally different than anything we had seen in Gloomhaven previously. Yeah, it's true. That's completely different from any other boss we've seen in, in Gloomhaven or obviously Jaws of the Lion. Um, so new rules unlocked at this point. The only thing new I think we had was uh, we leveled up. So it showed taught us how to level up our characters, how to pick new cards. I don't think anything else was introduced, except at the very end of the scenario, there were a bunch of just, like, a summary of new rules in the very back of the book. That's a good quick reference for anyone who's played Gloomhaven before. Make sure you read that, because that points out some of the key differences between Jaws of the Lion and Gloomhaven. If you do want to hear about every single little change in this, uh, if you check out our YouTube channel, tabletopbellhop.com slash, uh, youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop, um, you can find our What's Different in Jaws of the Lion video where I actually walk through all of the different changes in the game, including the new line of sight rules, the new focus rules, the fact that you can trade treasure, basically every change. I'm not going to go through it all again and I here. don't think the new rules revealed at this point gave us any more changes that we would add to that list. I don't think there was any no, changes I think compared to original Gloomhaven at that point, right? No, there's nothing new. Yeah, no. I can't think of anything that was different. No, there was nothing different in that last section. So overall, first five scenarios of Jaws of the Lion, what do you think? Yeah, it was fun. Um, mm. Four was definitely harder than five. The bad guy was interesting. Uh, overall, I worried that I would be bored with it, with the onboarding, with the learning slowly adding on, but it was fun. It was fun having done, been someone that's already played Gloomhaven and mm -hmm. knows the rules. But it's a good way to get to know the new character classes, too, with them being slowly introduced. Yes and no. I mean, the fact that your cards change means you get to know your character, but when you get to number four, there's a huge mm -hmm. jump where you get completely different cards, and it's like almost you just unlocked a new character. Correct. That was the one thing that was new in five, actually, is we had access to our X cards, and we had the option of taking those. So oh, that yeah. was something new to this. There was new, new stuff this. in five, but there was nothing that was new to... Oh, well, versus the original Gloomhaven. You get your X's right at the yes, beginning, don't you? that is yeah, different. You're right. That's, yeah. that's different from Gloomhaven, and it's something new from Jaws of the Lion. This is the first scenario in Jaws of the Lion where you actually do any deck building. Up until this point, you always grabbed all your cards. Mm -hmm. Now, those cards changed over time because of the onboarding, but you always grabbed all your cards. This was our first chance to make a decision before the scenario started. The actual leveling up was the same. Yeah, leveling up was the same. Though they did give you a bonus perk in this, which if you were playing Gloomhaven, you wouldn't have gotten. Because mm -hmm. in one of the scenarios, they just give you a free perk. So you're a perk ahead compared yeah. to normal. Um, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find us all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can find our webpage at tabletopbellhop.com, where you can find things like actual play videos, unboxing videos, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. We are trying to be a dear Abbey for gamers, and we have people send in questions to us using uh, on the webpage by clicking Ask the Bellhop or going to questions or emailing questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Uh, the little most recent question we had were, what are some surprisingly complex games? Games that surprised you? Games that you didn't expect to be as good as, or as big as, or as much of a game as what they were? If you've got a question for us, please hit us up. 
Other than that, if you did enjoy this video, uh, we did upgrade today. If you've watched any of our previous videos, we have way more light today. So that is step one upgrade. Step two is to add the second camera. So if you uh, would love to see us having two cameras, so you can actually watch us play and see the board, head over to Tabletop Bell, or sorry, patreon.com slash Tabletop Bell Hub. I want everything to be Tabletop Bell Hub.com. I want to own the internet. Patreon.com slash Tabletop Bellhop. YouTube.com slash Tabletop Bellhop. Uh, this is Friday night right now. So it's, it's every Friday night. 8.30 p.m. Eastern, we are going to try to live stream some Gloomhaven. Right now, during the pandemic, that's going to be some Jaws of the Lion 2-player. Once we can start gathering together again, we're going to try to get the gang together and move on to the big box Gloomhaven and continue that campaign. So that's 8.30 p.m. Eastern Detroit, or, or sorry, Detroit Works, Toronto, New York time. Um, on Fridays, that's at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellup. For those of you watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ding that bell. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. And I'm Deanna. Good night and game, game on. on.